Hey, what's up everyone? How's it going? This is Waj. Hope you guys are all doing well. And here we're going to do a comparison between two DJI drones. Uh, one is the new Phantom 4 and the previous generation Phantom 3 Professional or uh, Phantom 3 4K. Both are going to be very similar in terms of a lot of their features. So basically we're going to go through the ins and outs between these two flying camera platforms and we're going to determine the feature sets and value of both drones to see which one is right for you. So let's get right into it. Now at first glance you can see that the Phantom 4 isn't a huge departure from a core design philosophy from the original Phantom 3, but there's definitely some important subtle changes that you should know. Firstly, internally it's been upgraded to a magnesium a unibody construction, so the core skeleton is pretty lightweight and strong. Obviously both uh, Phantom 3s and 4 have outer polycarbonate construction, but the plastics feel a little bit more premium on the Phantom 4. Now another major change is how many sensors we have on the new drone. Uh, firstly you have four optical sensors sensors, two facing forward, two facing the bottom, enabling the obstacle avoidance system to basically scan the environment and avoid larger obstacles that the drone will come across in its flight path. In addition to that, the vision positioning system on the Phantom 4 has been beefed up from the Phantom 3. Uh, you can see that there's larger ultrasonic sensors. There are two specific benefits of the new vision positioning system. Firstly, it'll work up to 10 meters high versus 3 meters high on the Phantom 3s, and there's less horizontal hover deviation plus or minus uh, 30 centimeters versus the older generation drone had around plus or minus 150 centimeters. All this in turn means that the new drone is much more stable in terms of its hovering capabilities. It can work better without the GPS signal so it'll fly better and more accurately in indoor environments and couple that with some of the other sensors it just means that the Phantom 4 is going to be easier and more safe to fly than the Phantom 3s. Now one other design change that you're going to notice is that we have a completely new design gimbal that's been relocated more to the center point of the drone itself which is going to shift the center of gravity closer to the core of the system which could resolve in getting more stable footage. Now the props on the Phantom 4 are different from uh, the ones that you'll find on the Phantom 3s. Firstly, the design is completely changed in terms of how you put them onto the motors. They're now using a push and release system, which is really easy to install and should be more secure, but I didn't really have any problems with the self-tightening props we had on the older generation drone. Now, of course, one other important distinction is uh, the actual motors and overall performance of the Phantom 4 is much improved from the Phantom 3. Firstly, in terms of the maximum velocity, it can now travel up to 72 kilometers an hour or about 44.7 miles an hour. The older generation Phantom 3s could go about 57.6 kilometers an hour or about 35 miles an hour. So uh, definitely a huge improvement. And of course, this is when you have the Phantom 4 in the sport mode which doesn't have the obstacle avoidance system and is more uh, designed to get you moving as quickly as possible and you definitely want to be careful in this mode but uh, definitely impressive to see these kind of capabilities on something designed for aerial photography. Now moving right along based on some of our battery endurance tests we were really impressed with the new Phantom 4. It lasted an average uh, flight time of about 26 and a half minutes. Uh, definitely very impressive. In similar circumstances and conditions the Phantom Phantom 3 Professional will get you just around uh, the 20 minute mark uh, and if you get the Phantom 3 4K which is a little bit better in terms of power efficiency we measured actually uh, 23 and a half minutes based on our uh, specific battery life endurance test so in uh, both circumstances with that larger 5350 milliamp hour battery which is almost a thousand more milliamp hours than the uh, Phantom 4K and Phantom 3 Professional you're definitely going to see better battery performance but at a cost you are looking at a little bit more of expensive battery, generally $20 more than the batteries designed for the Phantom 3s. Now, besides those points, there's actually more similarities than there are differences between uh, the Phantom 3s and the Phantom 4s. Firstly, when it comes to the range and monitoring uh, technology, uh, you both have redundant uh, features. Five kilometer unobstructed communication distance, which is really impressive to see. And uh, you get a 720p 30 FPS feed with minimal latency on both the Phantom 3 Professional and the Phantom 
Phantom 4. Of course, uh, the Phantom 3 4K, the reason why it's cheaper is the fact that it doesn't have light bridge technology, which is going to limit its communication distance and the overall quality of the monitoring experience. Now, when it comes to the video quality and capabilities, the uh, Phantom 4K Professional and Phantom 4 essentially have the same 4K video capturing capability. And in a lot of ways, the image is pretty much identical because the sensor is the same. Now, the only real difference from an image standpoint on the Phantom 4 is the lens that we have. It should be reducing the overall lens distortion by 36% uh, compared to the Phantom 3s, as well as chromatic aberration in extreme areas where you have a big contrast differences by 56%. In most scenario, the reduction of the CA is not that apparent, but you can see a subtle difference in terms of the amount of barrel distortion we have on the new drone compared to the Phantom 3s. Now, in addition to all those things, the only other real difference from a video standpoint is now we have 120 frames per second slow motion capabilities at 1080p on the Phantom 4 versus uh, we were limited to about 60 FPS on the Phantom 3. So if you do want to do a little bit of slow motion, you do have some capability on the new drone, which is definitely nice to see. Now, what's probably more impressive on the new drone is the amount of software capabilities we have. Firstly, you have things like a tap to go where you can basically tap on a specific area or environment and the drone will just fly to that specific area, avoiding obstacles using that obstacle avoidance system that's built in. Additionally, you have a really cool feature called active track, which will basically track a live subject. You basically target on a specific human being or a moving thing and it it will track it in all sorts of different directions. You can do 360 moves around that, uh, having that really cool and cinematic uh, look, as you can see over here. And of course, all this works uh, pretty nicely. Of course, if you move too fast or if you uh, lose the drone's uh, targeting system, uh, the drone will just hover there and not respond. So it's not a perfect system, but a cool feature nonetheless. But really on that, guys, that's really it. As you see from the comparison itself, in terms of actual camera quality, there's not a big difference between the two. They're mostly using the exact same camera configuration. A little bit of difference in terms of the quality of the lens on the Phantom 4, uh, not to mention all of the smart features, obstacle avoidance system, the tap to go, as well as the active tracking feature that we have on the new platform. But basically, in a lot of ways, if you're just getting into uh, drone and uh, flying video photography and all that kind of stuff, I would definitely say that take a look at the entire lineup of what DJI is offering right now. There's tons of excellent deals. In fact, for under $500, probably the best uh, drone that you can buy is the Phantom 3 Standard, which is a 2.7K uh, flying camera platform. Has many of the great easy to fly features that you expect from all the drones that DJI makes, uh, but it comes again at a very affordable price tag. And I really like the Phantom 3 4K. Has pretty much the same quality as all of the uh, rest of the drone lineup, uh, but uh, it comes at a more aggressive price tag. You don't have the Lightbridge technology, but it's more than adequate for most people that want to get into this hobby at a uh, price tag that's well under $800. But really, other than that, guys, that's really it. Definitely check out our full in-depth review of the new Phantom 4. Uh, definitely uh, check out the description down below for all that stuff. But thanks again for watching. Thanks for your support. We'll see you later. Take care.